Hi everyone, in this video we will be learning how to use Gauss Jordan to solve a system of linear equations. Previously we used Gauss method, but Gauss method only teaches to solve in echelon form. So now we will be learning how to transform echelon form to reduce echelon form. This is known as Gauss Jordan reduction. So what do we mean by reduce echelon form? Well, echelon form, we have already learned, it means that every row has a leading entry of 1. But for reduced echelon form, is that for every row with the leading entry of 1, the column in which 1 lie falls in only has 1 in its non-zero integer. For example, you have this. This is reduced echelon form. Why? Every so echelon form because every leading entry is one, but for its column, you can see one is only the non-zero integer. Same as this and this. So let's go into a detail in the examples so that we get a clear view of what we are doing. So let's go into echelon form first. So you get x plus y, so 1, 1, x minus y, 1, minus 1, so 2, 0. So you want to eliminate the variables, the x variable in the second row. So hence, minus row 1 plus row 2, therefore 1 minus 1 will give me 0. Minus 1 plus minus 1 will give me minus 2. Minus 2 plus 0 will give me minus 2. Now let's make the leading entries into 1. Therefore, for the first one, 1 is still the leading entry. For this one, zero to minus 2 divided by minus 2 will give me 1. Minus 2 divided by minus 2 will give me 1. So, let's go to the final stage of using, now we are going to pivot upwards instead of downwards. So, we will use this first. So, let's write first, pivot with this. So, we will use this to eliminate the y variable here. Because you want to make it to a reduced echelon form. So, minus row 2 plus row 1. So, minus 1 plus 1 will give me 0. Minus 0 plus 1 will give me 1. So, minus 1 plus 2 will give me 1. So, this system is in reduced echelon form. Why? Because every, leading, every row has a leading entry of 1. And for that 1 in which the column lies, as you can see here, 1 is only the non-zero integer. The same goes to this. Therefore, x equals to 1, y equals to 1. So let's go into the deal, the second example to practice more on this. Let's go into echelon form first. 1, 2, 0, 2, minus x or minus 1, 0, for 1. So we will eliminate the x variable in the second row. So first is, let's pivot downwards first. So 1, 0, Minus 1, so minus 2 times of row 1, add to row 2, so minus 2 times 1, minus 2 plus 2, 0. And minus 2 times 0 will give me 0, so 0 plus 2 will give me 2, 
So minus 2 times minus 1, 2. 2 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 0 will give me 2. So keep this. So minus 2 times 4, minus 8. Minus 8 plus 1 will give me minus 7. So let's convert the leading entry into 1. Therefore, row 2 divide by 2. Therefore, 0, 1, 1 will give me minus 7 over 2. So now, we can use the leading entry design. We can use row 2 to eliminate the z variable in the first row. Therefore, row 2 plus row 1 will give me So, 1 minus 1 will give me 0. So, 1 plus 0 will give me 1. 0 plus 1 will give me 1. So, minus 7 over 2 plus 4 will give me half. So, the system is in actual, reduced actual form. Why? Every row has a leading entry of 1. And for this column, which 1 falls in, 1 is the only non-zero integer. The same goes to this. 1 is the only non-zero integer. And the same goes to this as well. Therefore, we can solve this equation. And as you can see, just like our normal situation, there's a infinitely many solutions. Why? Because every for because there's one variable which is not a leading variable. So for row one, x is the leading variable. Row two. Y is a leading variable, but leading variable, but Z is not. Therefore, this system has infinitely many solutions, and we will express Z in terms of the perimeter. So let Z equals to lambda, and you can solve it. You can work your way. So Y plus lambda will give me minus seven over two. So y equals to minus 7 over 2 minus lambda. And you can solve it for x also. So let's go into detail the third one. So as you can see, this system, this reduction method is good for determining solutions which are definite infinitely many solution or no solution at all now let's take a look for the next two examples to see whether the system has no solutions infinitely many solutions or a unique solution So let's go into echelon form. So 3, 6, minus 2, 1, 1, half. So what's the first step again? We will eliminate the x variable in the second row. So minus 2 times row 1 plus row 2. So first 3 minus 2. 1 so minus 2 times 3 6 minus 2 times 3 will give me minus 6 minus 6 plus 6 0 minus 2 times minus 2 will give me 4 4 plus 1 will give me 5 so minus 2 times 1 minus 2 so minus 2 plus half will give me minus 3 over 2 Well, we can say that the system has a... Well, let's convert it first. Let's make every leading entry into 1. So 1 minus 2 over 3. Because we divide row 1 by 3. And then 1 over 3. For this, is the same. Row 2. So 5 divided by 5 will give me 1. 
minus 3 over 2 divided by 5 will give me minus 3 over 10. So now, let's make this. So now we will pivot ours. We will use row 2 to make, to eliminate the y variable here. Therefore, 2 over t, 2 over 3 times our row 1 plus 2 over plus row 2. Therefore, I using row 2. So 2 over 3 times 1 will give me 2 over 3. So 2 over 3 minus 2 over 3 will give me 0. So 2 over 3 times 0 will give me 0 plus 1, 1. So 2 over 3 times minus 3 over 10 will give me minus 1 over 5. Minus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 3 will give me minus... It will give me 2 over 15. Therefore, our x is equals to 2 over 15 y equals to minus 3 over 10. Now let's take a look at the last example. This is different because it has 3 systems and 3 unknowns. Let's go into echelon form first. So 2 minus 1, 0, plus x, y, and then there's no z coordinate. 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 1, 5. So you notice that for row 2, it has a, row 2 has a higher, has a lower coefficient of x than row 1. Therefore, we swap it. So, 1, 3, minus 1, 5, 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 5. Because well, now we already swapped the row 1 with row 2. So now we can eliminate the x variable on the second row. Therefore, minus 2 of minus 2 times of row 1 plus row 2 will give me So minus 2 times 1 because minus 2 minus 2 plus 2 will give me 0. Minus 2 times 3 will give me minus 6 minus 6 plus minus 1 will give me minus 7 minus 2 times minus 1 will give me 2 so 2 plus 0 will give me 0 minus 2 times 5 will give me minus 10 minus 10 plus 1 will give me minus 9 so now we are left with this kind of situation therefore we can Eliminate, we can swap row 3 with row 2 because row 2 has a higher coefficient of y. Hence, 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, minus 7, I'm sorry, this one should be 2 
I made a mistake here somewhere else. So that's now we can eliminate the y variable on the last row. So seven times of row two plus row three, therefore, give me so minus seven. 7 times 1 will give me 7 so 7 minus 7 will give me 0 7 times 2 equals to 14 14 plus 2 will give me 16 7 times 5 will give me 35 35 minus 9 will give me 24 I mean 35 minus 9 26 And now we can solve it. But now the system is still not in reduced echelon form first. For this one, we can make it into one. For third row, the leading entry into one, so hence is 1, 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 5, 5, minus 13 over 8. And now we can bring it over here. So now we can pivot first from here, from row 3, that means 0, 0, 1. That means we have to eliminate the variables in the z, the z variables here. So it's and here also, so it's minus 2 times of row 3 to row 2. So minus 2 plus 2 will give me 0. Minus 2 times 0 will give me 0. So 0 plus 1 will give me 1. This sum will go to 0. So minus 2 times minus 13 over 8 will give me 13 over 4. 13 over 4 plus 5 will give me 33 over 4. For this also, so for this we can eliminate the z variable over here with 1 plus 1 minus 1 will give me 0. So it's row 3 plus row 1. So 1 minus 1 will give me 0. 0 plus 3 will give me 3. And 0 plus 1 will give me 1. This one equals to the same also. 33. So minus 13 over 8 plus 5 will give me 27 over 8 now Now we can eliminate the y variable in the first row. So therefore, we add 3 times of row 2 
and then add it to row 1 therefore So minus 3 times 0 equals 0, 0 plus 0 will give me 0, minus 3 times 1 will give me minus 3, minus 3 plus 3 will give me 0, and minus 3 times 0 will give me 0, 0 plus 1 will give me 1, and for this, minus 3 times 33 over 4 will give me minus 99 over 4, plus this one will give me a certain value, let's call this value, here, we have a certain value, we can write it down here, I won't write it because it's very complicated, a lot of fraction. You can write it down here, in this box here. So we have already solved our value for x, y and z. So z is 13 over 8. Therefore, z equals to z is equals to minus 13 over 8 y will give me 33 over 4 and your value of x will be the one in the box that you write here so this is your x value so we have already come to the end of this lesson so now, we have already seen how to reduce an echelon form to reduce echelon form. So what does it mean again by reduce echelon form? So like for this, every leading entry has, every row has the leading entry of 1. But in this column, 1 is the only non-zero integer. So as you can see here, we can, this is how a reduced echelon form is as compared to an echelon form. Well, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Goodbye.